Hey everyone, welcome back to another shave with Shaving with Surge. And today's gonna be a straight razor shave number 15. So I'm halfway through with my challenge to myself for 30 straight, straight razor shaves. So, you know, I'm excited, halfway done with the journey and I feel that, you know, my skills are, um, they're developing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming along, you know, better than I, I thought and expected. For today's shave, I'm gonna be using this famous artwork soap under the sea. Um, <laughs> the artwork, I'll just say, to me, it looks like a bad acid trip that a scene that would be in a movie, you know, just picture these fish talking and, you know, moving around some animation. That's what it looks like. It looks like a shitty acid trip from a movie. And, <laughs> um, splash, matching splash, brush. I got it soaking in my mug. It's going to be the, uh, bringing back the maggard, 26 millimeter super high density knot with the low born handle. And um, I told uh, one of my followers, I was showing the difference between a 26 millimeter loft and a 24 mil millimeter loft. So, you know, I suggest you go with the 26 if you're going. I think this is probably the most common size brush is being used now. Don't pay attention to handles. Handles are completely different, but that's the difference between a 24 and a 26. This is a fan and this is a bolt knot. Um, I prefer the 26 over the 24, but there is nothing wrong with the 24. It, it fits perfectly on the face as well. As you can see, 26 takes up almost my whole cheek. And I told you, you know, they even go as high as 30 and 30 to me, I personally feel is too big. I feel I'd be great for a head lather, but, um, I don't own one. So, you know, maybe I'll pick up one one day and we'll find out, but that's how I personally feel right now. Okay. Um, so let's go on with the shave. Let's get started. Let me wet the face. I got a zit right there. All right. Wet the face. Go with my usual pre-shave oil. The blade's grim. Um, to be honest, I don't even know if I really need the, the pre-shave oil. I'm using it because I have it. I have it. And I have so much of it. Um, smells great. You know, um, I would I buy it again? Mm, probably not. There's so much of it. Uh, it's a great value for the price, but I think I'm interested more in probably like a PA cube as a pre-shave moving in the future. Um, okay, I'll, let's get started then. So, the, uh, oops, iPad closed. The official notes for this, I'll try to read on some of the names. I, I don't really know how to say properly, probably, because, you know, let's face it, in the real world, as a dude, we really don't know these these scent notes until you start getting into this shit, you know? So it's got Calabrian, Bergamot, Grapefruit, Osmanthus, Watercress, Black Pepper, Honeysuckle, Violet, Leaf, Jasmine, Marine Notes, am Ambergris, White Musk, Amber, Myrrh, and Himalayan Cedar. So hopefully I, uh, I pronounced them all right. The infamous artwork. Kaizen base, of course. Scent. It's a great scent. It's a good scent. You know, to be honest, I smelled this when I first got it, and and I had to go smell motherfucker from um, First Canadian Shave and Grapefruit, because off just the scent from the tub, to me, I was like, hey, it smells similar to those. But when you grab them up individually and start smelling them, You'll, you'll be able to pick out the difference, the different uh, scents between them all. But um, just off, you know, like off of just buying it and off of pure memory, kind of all s smells similar. But like I said, when you grab them and smell them all back to back, they're similar, but different. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good on these, um, what is it, these uh, aqua cologne scented soaps for now. I think I have three of them. I don't know if grapefruit is considered one, maybe it's because of the citrus notes in it. Uh, reminds me of it being similar, but uh, it's a great scent. I can close my eyes, smell this, and I could picture definitely it, you know, being on the beach. Uh, I pick up that citrus from that grapefruit. 
it, it's a good scent, you know, it's an aqua cologne, beach fill, citrus. It's a good scent. All right, so I, I also uh, told one of my followers that uh, I would show them my more in depth of my lathering technique. So, you know, bear with me all. I'm gonna explain it all a little bit better, at least for me, you know, um, this is how I do it. I let my brush soak in a mug like you saw. I let it soak, you know, five, 10 minutes before my shave, probably about 10 minutes before my shave. You know, I get I get the, the, the mug filled up and the brush set in there, I start setting everything up. And then when I pull it out of the mug, I pull it out and I squeeze out most of the water. Most of the water. And um, I just dip the tips back into the mug give it a little shake, and then I begin to load. And I load it. Normally I load it like this, but for the sake of filming, I'm showing you. I load it like this. And you know what? I'm gonna dip these, just the tips in again, just a little bit more, a little bit more water. Load it up. Kaizen, Kai, you know, there's a learning curve to this. All soaps are different when you get soaps and different soap bases from makers. You just got, you got to play with it and you're going to learn and you're going to learn what works best for you. You know, um, I think when I first started loading and shave, getting to wet shaving, I, my problem was I, I, uh, I didn't load enough soap in it or I didn't add enough water to my face for lathering it up. And, you know, I just just play with it, go with it, and you know, see what you like and works best for you. So I load it up, and this is Kaizen. This is more than enough. Kaizen creates an incredible lather. I take my finger and I rub off the excess soap that the brush didn't pick up, like that. And I rub and now I'll use this. Technically, this could be like a pre-shave. Okay? You rub it in. And Kaizen goes on drier. I would say more like a, not dry, but more like a glue. And it's thirsty, so it needs more water. I like put it on my face, it goes out and you just feel it. It's stickier like a glue. God, I hope I don't get booted. My video gets booted for music. It's hit or miss. I had to get rid of like the bigger names, bands and, and, and music because YouTube just doesn't allow you. It, it kicks it off immediately. So I'm keeping it more, you know, Maiden I've had success with, even though they're huge, but you know, other band why should keep it lower and this is all for my personal preference you guys don't like metal music you know i'm sorry but we're here for the shave this is what i like i like music when i'm shaving all right so let's get on with the shave so there we go that's what mines look like when i load up my brush and when i br when i first put, apply it to my face i don't start lathering it up in the circular motions i'm just what you would call painting it on so i paint it on get that Distribute all across my cheeks. I do my cheeks and my neck. I save my lip for towards the last when I'm almost ready, when I think I'm done with the lather. Okay. So now that I've distributed that soap from my brush knot onto my face evenly, now I could begin to load it up. And I already know this needs water. Just from how it feels on my face, it's, it's a little dry. And you can do circular motions, up and down, it doesn't matter. So I loaded up one cheek, and now I'm gonna go to the other side, do the same. Explain the brush, that's what it's called. You know, just working that lather, working the moisture that's trapped in the hairs of the knot, okay? And this needs more wire. So then when it needs more water, what I do is I just dip the tips again. Just the tips. I'm talking about, let's see if I can do it. Uh, I can't see, nah, it's not going to work. I can't see it, but just the tips. I t place it in my mug. And I even give it a little, just, you know, just the tips. Just the tips of the brush. And now I've added more water to it. And now I'm going to paint it on. Painting it on. I feel it distributes that water I just added to my knot more evenly across the lather my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush it on back and forth, back and forth. And now I'm gonna go back to, let me work it, let me work up that lather. When I'm doing this, I also puff out my cheek with air. It just gives it, I feel a more firmer base to, uh, you know, work it in. 
and I'm gonna do the same over here. And now I'm gonna brush it, brush it, brush it. See the lava drip in, it's all right. When you're, when you're building lava on your face, it's gonna get messy and that's okay, you know, that's okay. Okay, so this lava is getting a lot better now. I'm almost there to my liking. And a little bit more water, a little bit more water. Brush it in, brush it in. Work that water in there. And you know what, just a little bit more, a little bit more water. Like I said, every time it's just dipping just the tips and pretend my finger was water, it's literally just like, boof, just the tips. And see, oh, lather, that's all right. If you want to save that, you just put it on, rub it on your fingers, put it back on that knot. And for me, this is good to go. I, I can work this more, you know, building a lather. It's all preference, to be honest. Um, you know, what, what you prefer, what you like for your, you know, slickness across your skin. Um, the more water you add to it, the more slicker it's going to be. And, um, you know, some people like really volume, volume, vol I can't even say that word, voluminous lather, big puffy lather, boom, there we go, a, a bigger puffier lather, um, that doesn't, that, that, I don't care about that. All right, so here we go, oh, for the straight razor, second time you use, I'm using the W. Greaves and Sons, um, 13 16th, original scales, uh, full wedge over 200 year old razor and we be using it for the second time. So here we go guys, 11 minutes in, 12 minutes in. And um, it's all right, you know, it's all right. Here we go, cheers. I just realized something. I forgot my mustache. Too busy talking about the lather. <laughs> Here we go. Quick fix, quick fix, all right? And take two. But welcome back guys. So my alarm went off and I was still going through the shave didn't realize that it's the alarm stopped uh, the filming. So just realized it, press play or record. Here we go. Okay. Um, so I'm still getting used to this full wedge, you know, um, it's a different fill than the hollow grinds. The hollow, this one, it's feels more like it's just plowing through the hairs. You really don't hear it or feel it cutting it as with the hollow grinds you do. Whoa, this one, let me skip this one over real quick. One moment. And this video is all over the place today. Okay, so uh, I was afraid, that's a bigger song. I'm afraid of YouTube uh, kicking, not allowing my video to upload. All right, so uh, where was I? You know, the hollow ground, you actually feel it. You hear it as it's cutting through the hairs. And with the wedge, you down. So it's, it's something I'm getting used to. And that's gonna be my first pass, guys. Yeah.
you know, um, also, let me, let me load up my face. <laughs> I also want to say hi to Jordan. Hi, Jordan. How are you? Your daddy tells me he, you sit there and you watch my videos with him. That's really cool. I have two daughters, too. I have a seven-year-old daughter named Alina. And I also have a two, well, she's going to be two next month. And her name is Honey. Uh, maybe in another video, I'll have him come say hi in it to you, okay? But hi, and make sure you listen to your dad. You got a cool dad there, and listen to him, okay? All right. And uh, on to the second pass. And for the second pass, now I'm gonna I'm gonna dip the tips back in. I'm gonna reactivate this lather, just paint it on, adding some more of that you know moisture to it. Work it, build it up, and then spread that. Like I said, this is Kaizen. This is you know it's it's an insane base. But you, I know you. And a John ordered a, you know what? Let me shout him out. John, John K on uh, YouTube. He's brand new into the wet shaving hobby. He's um, very enthusiastic and you can see the passion he has for it. He started filming his first shave. You know, give him a follow guys. John K, I'll post his link up here. Give him a follow. Um, oh, you know, I also want to give a shout out too. <laughs> Second pass uh, against the grain. Um, lather me whiskers on uh, YouTube. I'll post his link somewhere right here. Follow him. He's gonna blow up. He is hilarious. So he plays a character. He shaves. He legit shaves. A legit shaver. But he uh, he plays a captain as a pirate. And he holds character through all his videos. And uh, he's gonna blow up. He's got a little bit of subscribers now, but once, you, you know, I know he's gonna blow up, he's gonna be huge. He's so entertaining. Like, his videos watching him bring me great joy. He talks like a pirate the ent entire time, doesn't break character. He is a genius. Lather me whiskers. Hey, Captain! <laughs> Uh, something else I wanted to talk about is it's still going to be a minute, you know, but I'm, I'm beginning to climb up in my subscribers. I'm at like 65 now. And when I do get to 100, I am going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway. Once I reach 100 subscribers, um, I'm going to do an a &E giveaway. I'll, I'll just tell me what's the winner tells me what soap they want. I'll purchase it, send it to their house as a thank you to my my followers, subscribers of my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. You know, I really do enjoy and love wet shaving. So, if you guys want to help me get there sooner and quicker, share. Tell your friends about me. Post my videos. Share my videos. And, um, you know, spread, spread the word. All right, so uh, back to the shading. All right.
All right, second pass done. And for my third pass, I'm gonna add some water to my face. And Kaizen is just so slick, like, you can, uh, I could just, I could do a cleanup shade with just a residual slickness left behind. Add the water. I don't want to waste this, you know. <laughs> so just, and it'll be smarter. All right, so now I always start off with painting, painting the lather on my face, cheeks and neck. Once I get that evenly distributed, distributed across my face, then I work that lather in that knot. And then as you can see, it builds up more. For my final pass, the money pass, I tend to like it to be a thinner ladder. Slickness is all there, but I just prefer it to be thinner. I don't know if you can tell on film it's thinner. I'm starting to feel some a tingling sensation on my face. It must be the black peppercorn that's in here. I believe it's black peppercorn. I get that as well with um, SoCal Hipster. There's pink peppercorn in there and it leaves a I wouldn't say irritation, it doesn't irritate me, but I just feel this tingling sensation on my face slightly. I don't know if I like it or not, but it doesn't bother me. <laughs> All right, against the gray, the cutthroats. Lather me whiskers, but I also want to talk like him now, almost reminiscent of my, uh, oh, what's the name of that soap? Big dude, Barbus, Barbus, there we go, Barbus. <laughs> that was a fun video, just being silly. All right. Third pass. Cheers, guys. Against against the grain. Cutthroat. Some Dio. I'm wearing a Dio shirt. <laughs> All right, and let's do the other side. Wipe off this lather. Almost ready for the bowls pass. And here we go.
All right. I have a zit right there, so I'm gonna be careful. Those masks, I tell you, those masks from work, right? All right, let me rinse the face. Oh, good tea. Good tea always traps in it. I don't mind. It's soap, so it's cleaning my goatee, and then the scents, you know, last a long time afterwards. And I can smell it on my face from my goatee as well. So, it's a small towel, I can use it that side, I'll use the lather. All right, and let me take a look at the smaller hairs. All right, bear with me. I don't need a lot of slickness. That's why I'm just rubbing some on. All right, let me get closer. And that's good. That's good. Get a little no no hair left behind. <laughs> All right. And uh, another trick you can do for your lather is uh, you know if you need more lather, you squeeze it out, squeeze it out from your brush at the end, and now you have this build up lather on your palm. Look at this Kaiser. It's beautiful, right, Kaiser? All right, and uh, if you need to do a cleanup pass, more than what I did, um, I tend to do, I did this more with DE razors, and then I had this extra lather, and then I could add it to my face where I needed it and shave and touch up, and this, I wouldn't have it all in the, I'd, cl I'd clean this hand, use this hand to add the lather and do the touch up pass. Okay, so that's another trick for you if you didn't know about. I'm hoping, uh, this video helped you more. Um, you know, like I said, there's a learning curve to it. Different, every time you need to use a different soap, different brush, whether it's synthetic, um, badger, all that stuff. There's always a learning curve to it. You just gotta figure it out. All right, let me do this um, aftershave. Shake it up. Oh, I'll just skip this one too, it's too big. There you go. Citrus notes at first are really dominant, really strong. <sighs> grapefruit, I could smell the grapefruit a lot in the, in the aftershave. Nice burn. All right. So that's it. This concludes Straight Razor Shave number 15. And um, thank you guys for, for watching and all the support I get. I really appreciate it. Feel free. Any questions you have, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you guys out with anything, any questions you may have. All right. Um, you guys have a great evening. Till next shave.